you know, people ask really, what is the plan of salvation? And I'll be frank with you, this is probably one of the most, it shouldn't be, but it's one of the most controversial subjects in all of Christendom, right? And because depending on what denomination you're from or whether you're Protestant or Catholic or whether you're Methodist or Baptist or Pentecostal, um, the question is, is the method of salvation the same? I can tell you, regardless of all of those different denominational beliefs, the one thing that is incontroversial is number one, you have to believe that God exists. That's number one, because you cannot come to him without first believing that he is, that he actually exists. But then because we are believers and we're Christian believers, we believe that a virgin conceived a baby of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit overshadowed that baby, over that woman, I'm sorry, and, and Jesus the Christ, or as we say, the Messiah was born to a virgin. He was sinless, he never had any sin, yet he, he actually was tempted in every point as we are as human beings. And because he was able to not only live a sinless life, but then because he went to the cross and he became sin for us, he took our place on the cross, dying for our sins. And then not only did he die for our sins, but three days later, he rose from the dead with all power over both heaven and earth in his hands. And he conquered the grave, he conquered sin, he, he purchased our salvation. And you are saved when number one, you believe that Jesus Christ is, that you believe he is the son of God, that you believe he died on the cross. And unlike any other God with a little G that's out there, our God got up from the grave and he is living right now. And he wants to have a relationship with you. And he says, if you believe in your heart, that God hath raised him and confess with your mouth that Christ has been raised from the dead, that by faith in Christ, you are justified by that faith and you are saved. You are saved and you're ready for heaven. But then what happens is, one of the things we like to do then after we're saved is we like to then have a public declaration of our salvation by being identified with him in burial and burial means being born again of the water that you're that you're baptized in his precious name as he told us in matthew 28 19 it says go ye therefore to all the world and make disciples of every nation and baptize them in the name of the father son and the holy ghost and and when you identify with him in faith you believe in the lord jesus christ you have the promise of eternal life with jesus Okay? Thank you.